Throughout Yosef's life, many horrible and difficult things happen to him. His mother dies while giving birth to his brother. His brothers hate him and plot to kill him. Yosef's brothers sell him to slave traders who in turn sell him to Potiphar. After being set up to have sexual relations with Potiphar's wife and refusing, Yosef is thrown into jail. After interpreting the cupbearer's and baker's dreams, the cupbearer forgets to tell Pharaoh of Yosef's ability. After all these dismal things happen to Yosef, his fortune starts to turn around. Eventually, the cupbearer mentions to Pharaoh that Yosef can interpret dreams, and Yosef is given a chance to find out what Pharaoh's dreams mean. Yosef is able to successfully translate Pharaoh's dreams, and Yosef is made second in command of, of Egypt. In this week's Parsha Vayigash and Perak Mem He Pasuk He, when Yosef reveals himself to his brothers, he says, Ve'ata al te'atzvu ve'al yichar be'enechem, ki mechar temoti hena ki l'michya shalachani Elohim lifnechem. But now do not be sad, and let it not trouble you that you sold me here, for it was to preserve life that God sent me before you. Yosef says this despite all the hardships he has been through in his life. He says this even though his brothers tried to kill him and sold him into slavery. Yosef realizes that, that all the horrible, wretched, and difficult things he has been through were worth it. He understands that without these challenging experiences like being sold into slavery and being thrown into prison, the good things would never have come. Without going through the tough parts of life, he wouldn't have been able to be second in command to Pharaoh. All of Yosef's sufferings were part of God's master plan in order to bring the Israelites to Egypt so they can become slaves, be freed, and receive the Torah. The story of Yosef is very similar to our story. We are at a point in our lives where everything seems hard and trying. As students, we have more homework than in the past. We not only have more tests, but we have harder tests. We are expected to participate in extracurricular activities. And to top it all off, we have to study for standardized tests and worry about college. As a result of, our things, we get, of these things, we get less sleep and have minimal time to relax, hang out with friends, and have fun. At this point in our lives, we are like Yosef when he was sold into slavery and put in jail. We feel like our lives are very difficult. Just like we share the hardships of Yosef, so too will we share the rewards of Yosef. When we get through the difficult parts of life, we will become better because of it. When this phase of our lives is over, we will realize how much the hardships in our lives improved us and helped us get to the enjoyable parts of life. As we go through these hard times with a lot of work and a lot of stress, we need to understand that there are good reasons for this. We go through these tough times so we can improve our minds and ourselves. When you are studying for a tough test or struggling through a paper, think about how much it will help you in the future. Just like Yosef's hardships helped him in the future, so too our difficulties will help us in the future. May each of us look at the challenges that we face daily as opportunities in which to grow individually and collectively so that we will continue to see the fruits of our labor. Shabbat Shalom.